morning guys Mandy here again and welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be going out into the shed bringing some boxes inside and I'm going to go through them all and see what we can get for the garage sale um, I've listed most of the big stuff on uh, either Facebook marketplace or on eBay but because I'm going to have a garage sale on the weekend and fingers crossed it doesn't rain um, I want to go through everything in the shed but I want to show you as I'm going through it so you get a bit of an idea of what I'm selling so with that let's go and uh, please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy this video please share my videos with friends and family and subscribe to my channel because this will really really help me put out more content and buy more lockers so with that let's jump straight into it Okay, so I'm out in the shed now. Um, sorry about the noise, sound quality and the lighting quality. I really only have one light in this shed, one long, or there's two globes, two long fluorescent globes and that's it. It's a pretty big shed so the lighting in here is pretty crappy so I do apologise about that. Okay, so I'll uh, spin the camera around and I will show you what we're working with today. So as you've seen a million times before, this is my shed and um, I sold a lot at the market so I really want to go through today and just have a look what else is in the boxes, what I can put on eBay or marketplace and what would do better in a garage sale. So we'll have a quick walk around. So some of these or all of these, the, I've still got lots of these face marks face masks in the boxes that's a that's a mouthful um so i want to try and get rid of those i've already made my money back on that and we've got luckily that shelf is clear now because i sold everything at the garage sale we've got stuff here and all of course as i said before all of that stuff at the back has been listed on ebay but if we walk through here all this stuff hasn't so this will go on this will probably mostly go into the garage sale so we'll go through some of this today um, I'm a little bit worried about spiders and cockroaches because they love spaces like this so with that let's get into it all right guys so I've got a box of stuff here um, and I'll I'll bring it out and show you as I go so we've got a first aid kit I'll just give that a bit of a clean up because it's a bit grubby okay so there's a, a brand new first aid kit it hasn't even been opened it's still all in the plastic wrap so I will I'll put that at the garage sale so we can pop that over there then we've got get rid of all the dust and we've got a couple of little hand painted bowls so they can go in the garage sale as well we've got a little corral bowl also garage sale so these things have been sitting in my shed and so they've got dust and stuff from the roof a little Asian inspired plate garage sale. we have a, a couple of normal plates we've got quite a few plates in this bowl uh, in this uh box let me just make some room here because everything will fall and smash and that will be lots of fun uh, we have a little container of bulldog clips so that's so exciting there's that one We've got a little leaf bowl, so that can go in the garage sale. There is like a, a mail divider, I don't know what you call these, that can go in the garage sale. We have some more plain white plates, so that's the garage sale. A little, little glass bowl. Wow tiny little microwave plate that is for a little microwave so there's that more bowls um, 
So these are all packaged up, so we might undo these. They're just plates, but we'll still get them undone. And have a look at what they are. Nothing exciting, guys. This box is pretty boring, but it all has to be done, so we may as well get this done today before it gets too hot, because in this shed, it gets so hot. So we'll pop the bubble wrap there and I'll use that again. So these are all wrapped up in material. Okay, so this is rose, rose china from Japan. So that's the pattern. They're pretty. So there's, looks like there's four of these. Other one. They're little saucers, so they go with uh, wherever the cups are, they go with those. I think, oh, hang on, that's a bit different. That might be like a side plate, a bread and butter plate. So that's got the flour in the middle, whereas the other ones don't. So there's two saucers and two side plates. So they're pretty. They can go in the garage sale. Um, just a plain white decorative plate. Another little decorative glass, very, very dusty. Hang on. These will all be washed anyway. I'm not going to sell them dirty. We've got two pretty little bowls. They say they're from Noosa. Okay, so they're hand painted Noosa bowls. There we go. We have a little. Chinese Asian inspired teacup with the lid so that's pretty we've got a stem vase a glass stem vase Oops. just some more white plates and I'm running out of room here um, we have a couple of French Paris inspired decorative glass plates. A couple of little square plates. No idea what this is. There's like a little bird or something in there. Just a little decorative thing. Tell me what it is. I no idea. So that's that. And then we've got a couple of uh, glasses. We've got Darth Vader glass. Um, what else do we have? We've got a little vintage gold leaf and white flower glass. Another little vintage glass with a carriage and horses have a couple of uh, coca-cola glasses both look like they're purple glass so that's that we have a, a casserole dish with lid I'll pop that back in there because I am running out of room we have a blue glass goblet a couple of large you could use these as glasses or they or vases I suppose it doesn't really matter so there's just a few couple of wine glasses nothing exciting in this one but have to go through it all a little bubble glass good for beer quite a different style of glass. I suppose you could use that for chocolate mousse or or anything really, maybe like a, a an eaten mess dessert or something like that. Another big goblet. Um, and a couple of other small glasses, just a little, a couple of little glasses and another one. So that's pretty much it for that box. So I'll Go on to the next one. I'll see you soon. 
Okay, so on to the next box. We've got a white china coffee or teapot. It looks to be in pretty good condition. It does have a mark on the bottom, but I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what it is. So that can go away. Just let me secure this a bit better. Then we have a vintage, I think, I think it's a coffee pot. Um, there's no lid. I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of looks like the kind of thing you see like waitresses pouring in an American diner or something like that. So I'm thinking it's a coffee pot, but it could also be wine because it's got little gold grapes all around. Needs a good clean, but there's that one. We have a whip. Nothing else needs to be said about that. We'll pop that in. We have an assortment of little ashtrays. There's quite a few here. We've got an alabaster one here or maybe marble. And we have one here saying um, it's made in French. <laughs> French. France. But I can't read it because I can't read French. So there's a couple of ashtrays. And and um, ashtrays and things like that are actually quite collectible so I might put them as a lot on eBay there's a little pottery one uh, it says something on the back but again I can't I can't understand I can't read it so I don't know if anybody else can so there's a little pottery ashtray um, we've got a couple more down here they need to be cleaned there's a little little brass ashtray there's another brass ashtray so that has seen better days but I don't know how old it is and we have a, a blue glass ashtray that needs a good clean but there's that one then we have just a little Asian inspired soup spoon. I have a couple of collectible spoons. It's very hard to see. So there's that one. I don't even know what that says. It says, oh, I can't read it. Sorry guys, don't, don't have my glasses on. There's one with a cocky on it. This one, I, I just don't know what they say. But anyway, you get the idea. Some little decorative spoons. We have got a an old beta mix, it's called. So that's the body of the beta. And then the cord. Let's pop it in there for a minute. And then the actual get rid of all that. Then there's the beaters. So that's probably from the 70s, I'd say. So that's cute. I might pop that on eBay. Then we just have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of these little dessert bowls, which need a clean. But they're just normal glass bowls in good condition. We have a ceramic teapot, just a normal plain ceramic. It does have a chip on the tip there. So that can go in the garage sale. Uh, we have an old recordable tape. Brand new, never used. We have a little vintage glass pin dish. That's super cute. So there's that one. I can go to the garage sale. There's a nice teapot here, but the handle has broken off. So, and it needs a really good clean. Hang on a minute. The handle is inside. So I might be able to repair it, but I wouldn't use it because it, you know, it might break. So how would it go? 
that way I actually think there might be a piece missing no no so that's how it goes I might try and repair it but it would only be for decorative purposes now I wouldn't use it and it also needs a really good clean but it's a pretty teapot collectible that can go into the garage sale then we have a little well, that's cute. oh god I can't even get this out okay have a little jug it says the Grampians so there you go this is a souvenir from the Grampians um, Rose Rubble Australia so that's what that looks like just a little jug and then a bigger jug so this could be used for milk custard just about anything um, no markings on the back just a, this looks like a PYR December 2020. So just a wine glass, nothing big, nothing exciting. That can go to the garage sale. And we've got a bag full of, oh, there's a Matchbox car. What's this one? This is an Audi RS6 event. So there you go, little Matchbox car. Wish it was real because I could do with that right now. And just a couple of um, just a couple of Christmas items really. It's tag cards, gift cards. Uh, that oh, this looks like a Christmas trees kids apron. So I've got three of those, and just some more gift cards. So nothing exciting, but I'll make up a big Christmas light and that can go in there sorry I got dust in my eye it's so dusty in here All right, another decorative plate pop that in there without breaking it oh my god sorry guys hang on all right maybe this is got the sides upturned it could be maybe a lolly dish or something like that we have a lid of something I don't know what maybe it's in another box so we'll keep that just in case oh this is a shame this is a little a little jug but the handle is broken and there's a little chip on the lip there but that is so cute there's that one and we have a large vintage glass bowl with that kind of pattern on it we have a container full of batteries they're like phone batteries or something so there's some of those there's a what are they called a bluetooth thing you pop in your ear when you're driving so there's a whole heap of batteries in there we've got some I've got stacks of these actually they're footy cards remember the old footy cards you used to get I'm not going to open these because they are sealed but I've got a lot of there's one here with Jason Ackermanis on it can't see the photo but his picture would be around the other side so I've got stacks of these so I'll make a big lot and um, we'll get rid of those uh, we've got cords just a couple of cords that can go into the cord box and we've got all these sorts of things cable identifiers so they're good if you've got a computer desk with lots and lots of cables everywhere which I do so they might come in handy for me but we've got all these furniture pads they go on the the bottom of the chair so you don't scratch your wooden floors so they've got a couple of these um, what are these ones? Oh, these are removable hooks for the wall. Again, some more furniture things. So they can go in there. And then we've got an orange and cherry glass bowl. And plums. Needs a good clean. But otherwise, that's it for that box. So, on to the next one. Okay, next. We have a vintage woolen blanket this is a hundred percent pure wool Laconia brand made in Australia so 
Um, I'm sure that some of you would have had these as kids. I know we had woolen blankets as kids, so that will go, it's it's in really good condition, so that can go into the garage sale. I'll pop that over here. Um, I have a box down here, but the bottom's falling out of it, so what we have, I'll just give it a bit of a clean, is an old dinner set from the 70s or 80s and it's a complete set little coffee cup I can't quite read something J studio I, maybe you can no it's hard to read so anyway that's that I've got plates I've got coffee cups bowls sauces and bread and butter plates so that's a complete set so i'll pop that there next we just have a uh, max maxwell and williams white basic bowl nothing special about that we have a glass etched bowl dish don't know what you call that <coughs> excuse me the dust in here there's so much dust in here next we have a nice decorative bowl with uh, what are they called um, birds of paradise painted inside and on the bottom it has hand cook ivory ironstone dishwasher microwave oven detergent safe made in Korea so but it's pretty and there's no chips or anything, so that's in really good condition. Uh, I'll give this one a bit of a clean out. So we've got a nice stoneware mixing bowl in mustard. There is a crack down here. don't know if you can see it from the outside, but you should be able to see it there. Otherwise, it's in really good condition made in china but it's it's pretty heavy so that would come in handy for somebody and we're on to the next one down here guys we've got some old singer knitting machines or sewing machines so i'll open the box they're really heavy so i can't really lift them up to show you but you put these these passion things go in somewhere and they knit for you, I think. Now, I don't know if all the pieces are here. There's some more. Sorry, this is, it's in a really awkward position, so I'm trying, trying to film it, but it is quite, it's quite hard. So, um, see, hang on a mini. Just let me stop and I'll open it up. Okay, so I can't get the lid fully up, but that's what it looks like. I've seen a couple on eBay, and they go for a couple hundred dollars, and I've got two of them. So um, I don't know if there's anything missing. I don't know if they work. I've got old patterns, pattern books, and everything to go with them. So I'll probably list these on eBay because I think it's more of a collector's thing. And it would do better there than in a garage sale. Okay, so next we have, it says do-it-yourself craft pack. Um, I think it's for scrapbooking. So we've got this kind of thing. It's got, uh, includes 15 printed papers, six sticker sheets, photo corners, 10 times die cut frames, four mini envelope pockets and yeah so I think it's for scrapbooking so I've got a couple of those two of those got a mermaid cake flexible tin I've got a couple of oh these are cute are these Tupperware decor 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 they're the old green plastic plates and I'm sure that a lot of you would have had those as kids too so there's three of those they're really cute I like them we have a thirsty camel stubby holder 
no big deal. We have a Splatoon heat changing coffee mug, changes when hot. Uh, was nine dollars so there we go it's a little I don't know I don't know what Splatoon is but anyway it changes I think you've got you've got your squid here and then when you put the hot water in it you've got all these colors appear so that's brand new there's that one we have a little <laughs> A little hand whisk, brand new. We have a little dust pan broom, and it's got a broom and it's got a squeegee on it. Okay, nothing exciting there. A foot roller. What have we got in here? Oh, okay. All right, there's a little clown money box. So that's cute. Sorry if you have a clown phobia. Some sort of a puzzle. I, God, I can't even open it. But it's a puzzle, wooden puzzle. There's a ceramic chook. There's a chook made out of shells. That's a little bit different. So if you're a chicken collector, hit me up. I've got a couple of chickens. We have, I don't know, the bottom of a trinket box. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We have the top of the trinket box too. <laughs> it's a little fairy. So they'd be cute for some little girl. She would love that. We have some more wall hooks. No big deal. We've got a little dolphin soap dish. That can go in the garage sale. We have a... Oh, hang on, we'll pop pop this out okay a dolphin trinket box so again if you like dolphins I think in my last video I had some photo albums so more dolphins this is okay hang on What's this? Oh, this has got some magnets on it. We don't need magnets. This is a bread bin. Just a plain bread bin. It's cute. So there's that. Um, a little yellow chopping board. It's got little bubbles on the back, so I think it's non-slip. There. We have, well, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, it's taco stands. That's pop your tacos in there. Made from metal. That's cute. We have a couple of placemats, or you could, I suppose you could use them as trivets for hot pans, a kettle, that kind of business. We've got, all right. Oh, looks like he's broken off something little bear on a merry-go-round just a plain glass coffee cup oh these are cute these are little I presume little I don't know maybe you could use them as cups but I think maybe little candle holders one with a butterfly one with a skull so they're cute we have a gold well, it's not gold metal plant pot I actually like that I've got a lot of indoor plants so I might keep that myself so I'm gonna put that aside for me sorry if anybody wanted it we have a donut maker so let's have a look at that hopefully nothing jumps out at me no so that's what it looks like 
It's a Bell brand. And it just makes mini donuts. So I'll test that out, make sure it's working, and then we'll sell that in the garage sale. Then we have uh, a power adapter, I, I think maybe for a computer. It says Delta Electronics ACDC adapter. It doesn't really say what it's for, but somebody might need it. So we'll pop that in there. We've got a little, a little vintage books, keeping budgerigars. So that's really cute. It's very old. Oh, it's got some cute photos of little budgies. So that's an old one. We've got quite a few magazines on bird keeping. So somebody who loves birds will want those. We've got Birds, Cages and Avery's book. So that's quite a nice little book. doesn't say how much it would be but somebody will love that got some more bird keeping books here oh there's quite a few actually so got some more bird keeping books magazines we have Rogers and Hammerstein South Pacific program so this must have been when they came to Australia that's the program for the musical We've got the Coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It's a nice old book. That's what it looks like on the back. Nothing there. Um, it's got a name written in the cover. But there she is. So this is nice. So there's that one. Most Excellent Majesty. The crown from first beginnings to its place in the modern world. So there we go. There's another another Queenie book All right. Warwickshire 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 coronation pageant Warwick Castle July 17 to 25 1953 souvenir program two shillings so this is an old book there we go we've got Breaking Bad DVD. This is the complete fifth season. One, two. Oh, alas, it is not complete. All right. Well, there you go. Someone might have the other CD. What have we got here? Super Troopers DVD. No, no cover. Just the DVD. Okay. And we've got a pair of dog clipping dog nail clipping clippers and a silver and blue mirror that's pretty all right so that's that tub so let's move on to the next one okay so the next thing I have found is a telescope I don't have the stand for it and I don't know if it's working I don't know if there's parts missing if anybody knows anything about this please comment below um, and let me know if you do know anything about it it is a, a Mead Star Navigator NG90 so I'll, um, I'll Google that but that'd be fun to use. So we've got that. We'll pop that in the garage sale. I'll put that down there so it doesn't get broken. Okay, so now we have my little pony doll. She's got wings. I don't know what kind of pony this one is. Let me have a look. Sparks, sparkly. Sparkle? This could be sparkle. So that's... <coughs> Excuse me. Little My Pony, My Little Pony Sparkle. Pop her in there. We have a an old, it says, Steel Light 
fishing reel. We've got another oh, weights, 2.5 kilos and 2.5. So that's five kilos each side, 10 kilos. So I'm going to put that down right away because it's rather heavy. And then we've got, without me breaking them, six vintage ramekins. And these are really cute. There's blue, brown, yellow, dark green, light green, and pink. And on the inside, They've got little handles and on the inside they have painted pictures. They're really gorgeous. I love these. Um, I can't I can't read what they say on the bottom. Maybe somebody can. Again, comment down below and let me know if you can read that. So there's those. Um just another glass decorative dish that can go in the garage sale. Unfortunately, with the lockers, you get a lot of household items, so a lot of dishes, um, you know, just your everyday stuff that you'll always use and, and other people can always use, but they're good for garage sales, but not so much to list on eBay. Uh, things like the telescope and all the vintage stuff, they can all go on eBay. Uh, the big things like microwaves, uh, chest of drawers, all sorts of things like that. They're good. They can also go on Facebook Marketplace. The tools go well on Marketplace. But things like like these ones, I've got a couple of these little dishes. They say Classic Rose Germany. So they're good for garage sales. I mean, look, Google them and, and find out if they're worth anything. They, they're worth putting on eBay, but otherwise garage sales. So... You do get a lot of that sort of stuff in the lockers, unfortunately. Another plate. This one is Har Harbro Fine Porcelain Made in Poland. So that's a nice little decorative plate. Okay. Uh, another plate. That one's got Crystal China Made in Japan. So there we go. That's a nice little plate. This one's got, can't read it. Can't read it, so I won't try. Okay, so I've got a little something different than a box. Um, I've got a heap of artwork sitting just here. This is all out of that pottery locker that I got a couple of weeks ago. So it's just a little bit different, but it's something that was in the locker, so I want to show you. Um, so we've got this artwork here. It's just, it looks, it feels like it's acrylic on board. So that's just a little one. The frame's a little broken. But there's that. Ready to hang. And then we've got just some stretched canvas that have all been either drawn on or painted on. But you can you can paint over these um if you put you get a thing from the art shop called gesso and paint it over the over the canvas um and then you can reuse these so it's they're still actually usable don't ever throw them out just repaint on them it's another acrylic on board drawing but unfortunately the glass has cracked there's a pencil drawing I guess that's Indian inspired glass has cracked on that one so that's probably no good now um, we have I don't know which way this one goes it looks like the wire is broken but I think it goes that way so this is a wooden frame with canvas Feels like it's acrylic. So there's that one. Uh, this is another stretched canvas that you can paint over. So they are worth trying. If you if you're into uh, painting, drawing, 
go to an art shop, get a tub of gesso. You might need a couple of tubs of gesso. Put a couple of coats on and you have a brand new canvas. So, I mean, even if you wanted to sand them back a little, because some of it's a little bit raised, you can do that and um, they're completely usable. So now we have a framed landscape. This might be oil. And it's the same with these ones. If you like these frames but you don't like the painting, there's nothing wrong with just lightly sanding them back and putting some primer on it, some gesso primer. And um, and you may be able to even go to Bunnings and buy something cheaper than gesso. I'm sure that painters out there would, would know what I'm talking about. But if you don't like the painting on this... then paint over it. The frame's not bad. It's in good condition. This says it's a cypress tree painted 1978. So I don't know who by. I think it's just a person who owned the locker. But anyway, there's an idea. If you, if you like the frame but you don't like the painting, just paint over it. Don't waste them. Paint over them. So here we go, another Indian-inspired artwork. In a frame, perfectly fine. Again, paint over it if you don't like it. We have a, an Asian-inspired painting on board. However, this says Greed 1974, and it's actually coming away from the frame. So, again, paint over it if you don't like it. We have another landscape here. The frame's perfectly fine. This feels like it's on board painted by Cormac it says so that's the, the back ready to be hung this is the wire and then we have a watercolor glass framed horse again that is ready to be hung so okay, guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your support please give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and like my videos share them around and please please subscribe to my channel because that's going to help me create more content and continue to buy new lockers um, if if i don't know that you're liking this video then there's no point in me doing it so please let me know that you like this uh, let me know what your favorite thing was that you saw today i'd be really interested to know so until tomorrow i will see you and that's it for today. Bye.